so in today's video I am going to talk about my first trimester experience, um, everything that went on and how I'm feeling now. So as you're watching this I am almost 17 weeks, I'm 16 weeks filming this and I'm starting to feel better. <laughs> I'm so happy about. So basically my first trimester was as as you can expect um a lot of sickness not being able to eat and then so so tired i think the tiredness has been a lot more extreme this time around compared to when i was pregnant with saskia um that could be because i have a toddler <laughs> in tow as well but i was working with I was working when I was pregnant with Saskia, so it's it's hard to tell. So yeah, I've definitely been a lot more tired this time around. Sickness-wise, it has not been good. I have gained around nine pounds um, throughout the whole 16 weeks. I have lost a lot of weight and then gained weight again. I've been really trying hard to gain the weight that I lost. Um, and I think it's working. You can tell if well if you know me or if you can tell from previous videos, I'm starting to get my pregnancy chub by on, <laughs> which actually um I'm feeling okay about. I do feel like I've struggled more this time with gaining weight, and I'm not really sure why. Maybe I'll talk about that in a different video because I could probably go on a little while about it. And I don't want to uh have this whole video taken up by that but I'm happy I'm gaining weight I'm not losing weight anymore I'm able to eat food drink but basically as soon as I hit the second trimester <laughs> everything got worse and I was so so disappointed because I just really needed it to get better when I hit the second trimester and it didn't it got worse um, I was just had these awful headaches like in like the center of my forehead it was just one of those ones where you move your head and your head feels heavy and it's so painful it's hard to explain you might know what I'm talking about but yeah and the sickness got worse I couldn't keep anything down so I'm gonna tell you a little story something that happened on a Sunday I was, it was the Sunday after my birthday, so it was my birthday on the Friday. The Saturday, I wasn't feeling well, but I think I was able to eat about one meal, half a meal, something like that. The Sunday, I could not eat anything and I couldn't drink anything either. I literally, I couldn't keep anything down. And then the Monday morning, I woke up and I felt better. I ate some breakfast. And I went to do a weekly shop in Tesco. Um, I was about halfway through my shopping and I just felt my body change like instantly. I grabbed a bottle of water um, and then I just sort of started to feel really hot and sweaty, like cold, flushy and heavy. And then my vision started to go and I was like, I need to find someone right now. <laughs> and luckily I found this lady right near where I was and it just so happened she was a first aider. So I explained to her, I feel like I'm gonna faint. I need to sit down. And she was gonna find me a chair. <laughs> I basically said, I need to sit down now. My legs were giving way. My vision was black and yeah, so I sat down on Tesco floor, right by the lemons. <laughs> it was on a main traffic aisle, so that was fun. All the luck, and people literally stopping to stare. Um, yeah, so I felt a little bit better once I sat down on the floor, and people, other people that worked there came over. This first dater, she was like holding my hand, she was blowing on my back, and then she said that they need to phone an ambulance. I already told her I was 14 weeks pregnant at this point. And 
then my vision went again, my hearing also went. I know I was, I was, I could still sort of see a little bit and hear a little bit, but it was like I was underwater in a way. So I said, I need to lie down. <laughs> so they literally brought me a pillow and blanket and lay me down in the middle of the floor. And that's when I started to feel a little bit better. My vision started to come back. I started to cool down. But as soon as I went to sit back up, it would happen again. So they left me lying down. Um, Saskia started to get really upset in the buggy at this point. So they gave her a toy to hold and play with, which seriously, the way that Tesco staff handled this whole thing is amazing. And I'm still yet to go back and see them all and thank them and let them know how I am because they did ask me to go back but I'm just starting to feel better now and I still don't 100% have the confidence to go out on my own yet <laughs> but yeah so they were playing with the toy with Saskia the paramedics came um, checked my blood sugar blood pressure temperature everything like that my blood pressure was basically too low they were not happy with it so they rang a backup ambulance to take me to the hospital because they were in a little car because I couldn't sit up without feeling faint they needed to bring an ambulance and because I had Saskia and at this point we couldn't get in touch with Daniel um, so I was a little worried that I was going to have to go to the hospital on my own with a toddler <laughs> um, yeah so we had to wait quite a while for the other ambulance to come I think it was around an hour we were just sat on the floor. Um, Saskia got upset again, so this one lady walked around the store with Saskia in the buggy, took her for a walk for so long, came back, and Saskia was asleep. I was like, who are you, and can you come and live with me? <laughs> so Saskia was asleep. Um, Daniel turned up, he got the message that the Tesco manager had left on his phone. And basically, yeah, we were just waiting for the paramedics. Someone just ran past to give me a fright. <laughs> we were waiting for the paramedics and they decided to try and get me into a wheelchair and get me into the cafe because they felt bad with how many people were stopping and staring at me. I was getting a really numb bum on the cold floor. So they helped me, practically lifted me into the wheelchair because I was so dizzy when I sat back up again. We just got into the cafe and the ambulance turned up. <laughs> but yeah, it, the Tesco staff were just absolutely amazing. They let me keep the blanket and Saskia got to keep her teddy bear, which actually came in really handy because I didn't have any other toys on me when we were at the hospital because I was expected to go straight home. Um, yeah, so once we got to the hospital, I was there all day. I had two bags of fluids to try and get my hydration and blood pressure back up and it did in the end. The doctor didn't really want to send me home that night but I said I was fine. I, you know, in my head I just had to get home for my baby. <laughs> there was no way I was staying in hospital. Um, yeah, and since then I haven't felt as sick as I have ever done throughout this whole pregnancy. And I haven't had any of those really bad headaches again, so I do think I was dehydrated. Um, I do feel like it just took quite a little while to recover from that and build my energy and hydration and everything all back up. Um, so it is two weeks later now, so I am feeling better. And I really need to go back to Tesco and thank all of those staff members because they were amazing absolutely amazing the only thing is I can't remember their names so <laughs> I know the first lady I asked that held my hand the whole time she's the one that wheeled me to the ambulance I know she worked on the home department so and she's a first aider she might be called Sheila but I'm not sure I need to find out and I need to go and thank them and let them know how I am because yeah she was quite genuinely worried about me <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm just hoping that that's not going to happen again. I've had a doctor review since then. Blood pressure and everything is fine. So happy to just let me carry on. 
as normal with midwifery care and it uh, makes me so happy. <laughs> I don't want anything to go against me giving birth in a birthing centre or anything like that. So I'm very happy about that. But now I'm 16 weeks, I'm hoping it stays this way, onwards and upwards, feeling better. <laughs> so like I said, 16 weeks, I will now show you my belly. And that is it from me. I don't want to overtake my channel with pregnancy videos, but obviously that is a huge aspect of my life right now. Um, so I will have pregnancy videos going up um, whenever I feel like doing them. <laughs> I also want to do a lot more baking videos with Saskia. I want to do some craft videos with her. Um, yeah, a lot of ideas going on. Um, very exciting and if anyone has any questions about this whole pregnancy, what my plans are and things like that, I do want to do a pregnancy Q&A kind of thing, like a casual Q&A video. So yeah, if you just let me know or send me them on Instagram, things like that. That's it from me. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.